so a few weeks ago, a good friend of mine uh, came by and said, Brian, hey, I'm really planning on selling uh, supplements online. And these are supplements he had created. And he said, really, what's the best way to go about it? So, you know, obviously, you know, selling product online is one thing, but how do you plan on getting the users to that product? So I asked them, you know, do you plan on doing any content or any other pieces around that that may actually help you get people to your your site, you know, in order to buy your product? And he wasn't really sure. So when we started talking, you know, he really felt there were three options that he could sell product online through. One was WordPress, the other one was Shopify, and the third was um, Big Cartel. Now, it was really interesting. When we looked at WordPress for Shopify, you know, with WordPress, they're sort of designed the same where you have different plugins, different themes, but what happens is with WordPress, you also have a lot of self-install and a lot of maintenance, and you have to use things like WooCommerce in order to do um, purchasing online. Where Shopify, you know, and you can do content, obviously. With Shopify, it's more about selling and then adding some content on the back end. So creating some additional content on top of your product. So what was really interesting when we compared the two, when you looked at WordPress, it was harder, you know, it's not necessarily hard, but it's harder for someone who's a novice at this to install and maintain, especially with all the hacks that happen on WordPress. But what was really, you know, when you look at Shopify, what happens is there's no real good way they have a blog section but there's no real good way to move content back and forth in between it even though there are more and more plugins being created every day and that community is growing the same way the WordPress community has grown over the last decade or so where there's a lot of plugins and a lot of people creating product uh, plugins that let you create additional products uh, and different you know pieces to your website now so really what happened is we saw he really wanted, because he wasn't going to create that much content, he really wanted more of that shopping experience. So then we looked at Shopify versus Big Cartel. And really the biggest difference there was the amount of plugins, the amount of themes, the amount of community that was able to be available through Shopify. But not even that. What really was more important was the payment options. At, you know, at the time when we looked at this, there were less payment options through Big Cartel than there actually were through Shopify. So ultimately, when we broke down WordPress, Shopify, and Big Cartel, we decided based on selling product, not doing a whole lot of content, the best thing for him to do was to use Shopify to sell his supplements. Well, once again, this is Brian DeLuca from Somnicat Media. Please feel free to check out our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a great day.